What's happening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jesse P. And this is Nightwing. Welcome back to Tiny Whip Headquarters. A lot of you guys know that this drone just came out. This is the Beta FPV 65 Air, or no, Air 65. And the thing that makes this thing incredible is right out of the box, it is 17.22253466 grams, which is incredible for a bind and fly. It's definitely never happened before, but Nightwing just made a post where he reduced the weight a lot more on this thing. And all of these comments are begging for a tutorial video how to drop that weight. So how are we gonna do it? First, we're gonna shorten the wires, swap the props, swap the camera and canopy, upgrade the pigtail, modify the antenna, and replace all the metal hardware with Pico Ready screws. So how hard is this to do? Can just like can anybody do this? For the most part, anybody could do this. The only hard part is with the camera upgrade, but there's two different ways. There's an easy way and a hard way. We'll show you both. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. This is easy. Let's get started. First, we're gonna remove the canopy. Uh, so we're gonna take out all four of these screws. And step one is just getting rid of the canopy so that we can see what we're working on. And carefully wiggle the antenna out. This camera is just plugged in right here. And right in there, and pop it out. Okay, so next we're gonna unsolder all the motors from the flight controller. motors are off so now we can just remove the whole flight controller from the frame okay so now that we got the flight controller out of the drone we're gonna remove this receiver next we're gonna remove the pigtail to remove the pigtail I always add just a little bit of extra solder onto here The solder that comes from China is kind of hard to work with, so I always like to retin the pads. This is the ELRS receiver that comes stock on the Air 65. We are going to shorten the wires and pull off the heat shrink and the double side sticky tape. Okay, so to mount this receiver, um, all of these wires are super convenient. The wires solder directly onto the flight controller in this orientation with the flat antenna facing you. The only thing is, is the receiver will then stick out. So how I do it is I mount the receiver on the bottom of the flight controller and just wrap the wires straight over to the top. So for this, I'm just gonna kind of hold the receiver onto the bottom where I want it and then fold the wires over to try and get a rough estimate of how long I want to cut those. I always cut them just a little bit longer than I need, so right about there. Now we're just going to strip and tin each of these wires. When you're stripping wires this short, it's kind of a good idea to pinch the silicone on it, otherwise you might pull the silicone off the entire wire. And you really don't need to strip off that much of the silicone, just enough to reveal some of the strands. Make sure the flat antenna is facing you, and then we can solder it directly onto the flight controller. Alright, so now that's soldered on, you can fold it underneath, and we're going to just mount it straight to the bottom of the flight controller over there. I like to kind of tuck it over to the side just to make sure that antenna is sticking out because the battery when we mount it is going to lay right across the middle of the board, so it's a good idea to keep that antenna kind of sticking away from it. 
when you glue it on, make sure that you watch out for the motor pads. Um, you make sure you don't want to cover those up with the receiver. While this is drying, we can pull the props off of the strip. The other modification that we're gonna to do to these motors is we're gonna shorten the wires and remove the heat shrink that is on the PCB. I use my tweezers, kind of stick it inside the heat shrink and pinch it and just pull it straight off. Okay, now it's time to swap out to the pinch camera. There are two ways to mount the camera onto the flight controller. You can either cut these wires and solder them directly onto these three pads right here, or you can unsolder these wires from this camera and use this camera plug and these wires are a little bit skinnier and lighter than the pinch camera um, and then you can just plug it directly into the camera plug on the flight controller. So what I'm going to do is take these wires off this camera and put them onto the pinch camera. Okay, so I think these are single-stranded wire with some just weird plastic coating on the outside. It's not really the silicone coating that comes on the pinch cam. So I found that the easiest way is to just kind of use your soldering iron and you can just kind of melt back the tip of these. You can also add a little bit of solder onto it. Okay, so now we're going to be putting the pinch camera into the 47.5 degree uh, PP mount. So it's important when you're putting the camera into these to make sure that the sides of the camera sink into the pockets of this mount back here. It's also a good idea to add just a little dab of E6000 on either corner of the camera. Now we're going to be mounting the flight controller back into the frame and soldering the motor wires back on. Um, so let's put the flight controller back in. Tail in the back for aerodynamics. Tail in the front, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Who does that? So Nobody. as you can see- Nobody. As you can see Nobody when you straighten the wires- <laughs> As you can see when you straighten the wires out, they're a bit too long, um, and so what you can actually do is shorten them. I just usually just eyeball this. In the past, I've measured out um, 24 millimeters of motor wire, but I think you can actually get away with a little bit shorter motor wire with this new flight controller. So I'm gonna take these, take my tweezers, and kind of hold the motor wire down there and adjust a little bit to just figure out how short I can make these wires. It's really not that much wire, but it, every little bit counts. And when I solder my motor wires on, I solder them straight down. Um, I don't twist any of the wires or anything. Next thing to do, we are going to modify the antenna. So we're gonna take it off of the UFL right here pop it off and you can actually cut off the heat shrink and unsolder the little metal part of the dipole antenna and you just turn it into a super simplified whip antenna you don't even have to measure the exposed part or anything remove the heat shrink and now there's just a tiny little bit of solder on the tip of this. So what I like to do, this part gets really hot, so I would not hold onto it with your fingers. But you can just grab the end of the antenna and use your soldering iron, just touch the top of this, and it comes right out. Nice. 
So now that we have our modified antenna, we can just stick that right back onto the UFL. Next, we are going to be removing all of these metal screws out of the motors and replacing them with these peak screws. Next thing we're gonna do is pop on the camera and slap on the props. So when installing the peak screws into this plastic uh, flight controller mounting holes and canopy mounting holes, um, I always open up these threads a little bit with just a motor screw because they have the same, or at least a super similar thread pattern as the peak and Remy screws. So next we're going to modify this pigtail and to do that you're going to need a new BT2 plug. We're going to snip these half moons off of the plug. So now when we're making the new pigtail I clip those off and I solder it at a 90 degree angle and then we'll just bend it the other 90 to create the full 180. When you're tinning these little nubs right here, I like to go super quick uh, because it's super easy to melt the plug. So for this build right now, we're just gonna put the pigtail, line it up as close to the zero as we can, and then use our side cutters, go straight over the 30 and grab it right there, and then that's where I'll cut it. You can actually have your ground wire be slightly shorter than your positive wire. And so we're gonna take these and we're gonna trim back this blue wire, which is the ground on the rounded side of the pigtail. And we're gonna trim it back just a couple millimeters. Remember, always double check, triple check, round is ground. And round for me, I've soldered the blue wire onto the ground. And then, that right there, a freshly modified Air 65. Let's see how much this weighs. Moment of truth, how much does our modded Air 65, Air 65 weigh on the tiny wood milligram scale? Fourteen nine four zero five. Woo! Zero four! <laughs> awesome, that is so Thank sweet. Thank God it worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a beautiful aircraft too. You definitely improved its beauty.